a design studio for the digital age. Design researcher Geisha Jorst and her PhD students are creating clothes which in a few years are expected to be everyday garments. Like a cardigan for stroke patients. So here we have a tiny microcontroller, which is like a mini computer. It's attached by Velcro so it can be removed for washing. If I have an emergency, I just have to make a certain gesture, in this case, touch my chest. And then a phone call is made via Bluetooth on my smartphone, which I have in the pocket down here. Other clothing gadgets are designed to gather information. Sensors can be built into my sneakers, for example. And then I have an app that allows me to track how fast I've run and compare my performance with friends. I think these things will soon be common in our everyday sweaters and jackets. Your subject is the growing interaction between humans and machines. Today, the one is almost inconceivable without the other. You can no longer say that's the digital world and that's the analog or real world. Everything is linked together so that we have one blended entirety. Digitalization offers society many advantages. The flow of traffic can be optimized, energy networks made more efficient, and there's huge potential for savings. But there's also one major disadvantage, a loss of privacy. The disadvantage is that many people, particularly the Americans, say privacy was yesterday. We have to give that up now. That would, of course, be a huge infringement of our civil rights. I'm not prepared to give up my privacy. The question, of course, is where are we headed? And how can we safeguard the right to privacy in our communications and still benefit from the advantages that analyzing data offers us as a society? The volume of digital data worldwide doubles every two years. And there are constantly new inventions, like Google Glass. Glasses with a mini-computer built into the frame. The glasses can measure speed, pinpoint the location of the wearer, recognize and analyze faces. Joost sees it as a surveillance tool disguised as a lifestyle product. Here there's no mention of tracking people, reading their social profile and that you immediately get all the information on the wearer's social activities. It's made to appear totally harmless. I think this here is quite extreme. All the images show young, sporty, super people using it in a harmless way. Gisha Jost sees it as part of her job to sensitize the younger generation for a life in the digital society. She encourages her students to realize they can influence what happens. And she also warns them to protect their data. Privacy is precious, she says, and needs to be safeguarded.